Howdy folks! I don't know if you can hear me over the storm. Welcome back to Railroads Online. We are playing the new beta, which as you can see has weather. And uh, apparently the weather sound effects... Uh, they don't have a separate slider, so they're really, really, really loud. I'll have to turn this down in post. It is blasting the crap out of my headphones. Uh, but it's pretty cool to see we have some weather now. Changeable skies. I've got this set to thunderstorm. It's pretty impressive, but uh, let's let's back that off a little bit. Now, if we come over to gameplay, it's got time of day progression, which you can turn on and off. Uh, you can set the length of the day and the night, and you can set the weather type. You can also do random. Uh, so let's go back to just partly cloudy, and hopefully the sound will die down a little bit here. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money yet to buy a new engine. I had hoped to get that cranked out, but this has been a really busy week for me uh, with work. And uh, I've got a high school kid in sports. and Yeah, it's just been crazy. So I've not had the time to grind out as much money as I wanted. Uh, but I've been running some cordwood. I got the smelter pretty much filled up. And I've just been selling it at the depot. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. It might be kind of a shorter video. Ah, oh, there we go. I can hear myself think now. <laughs> uh, the weather looks really nice in the beta. You can get to this on Steam. Just go to your properties on Railroads Online. Go to the betas tab and, and select the beta. I think. I don't think you have to put in a code, but maybe. Maybe you do. I, it's been a long time. There are instructions somewhere on the team, Steam discussions of how to get to the beta. But anywho, yeah, sun's out. Sky's looking good. Uh, the beta also has an update to Unreal 5. There's not huge changes yet, uh, but it says those are coming in the announcement. So let's get this last set of cars loaded up. And then we'll head over to the depot and make a little more money. I think old Betsy's ready to go, but we're going to switch out Betsy at some point. Because what I noticed, I took Betsy with this uh, 10 cars down to the smelter. And then I couldn't get back out of the valley. I had to bring the Shea over and and help me out but I did some testing and the Shea would would just drag this whole train including Betsy with Betsy not helping so I think we'll stick the Shea on this when we're back to hauling cordwood over to the smelter and we should be able to pull the empty cars up out of the smelter valley throw the brake on here real quick and unfortunately, with the beta update, Railroads Online Extended doesn't work. And the beta also has lots of new bugs, so we'll see if we can get this done. I noticed re-railing re barely works. Yeah, it's a beta of early access, so there's going to be lots of bugs. And Betsy was just jumping around on the track there. It makes me a little nervous. But I was uh, re-railing the Shea, and it took like six tries to get it to set on the track. It was going sideways and all kinds of goofy stuff. But like I said, not too surprising. They did move to Unreal 5, so it's a, an engine change. That always comes with its own set of problems. But it almost seems like the lighting is different in Unreal 5. Of course, we've got the new sky, which is pretty cool. And I'm interested to see what nighttime looks like. Well, if it doesn't turn night by the time we're chugging down the track, uh, I can manually set the time. So we will check out the nighttime. And while the weather does have sound, like rain and snow and whatnot, there's still no like ambient forest sound. So we can hear the logging camp. Can't really hear anything else. I'm going to let this finish loading, and I'm going to actually fire up my ambient sound, so we'll have that back in. And I'll be right back. There we go. Last two loads going on, and we've got some forest wind. A little bit of sound back. I miss the fast run, too, from Railroads Online Extended. Trees inside the building. One. Hear that? Oh, don't knock my train off the track, please. wonder if the smart replant did that. May not be aware of buildings. 
Anywho, uh, let's get on down the trail. And let's just double check here. Some wood. Yeah. What the? Okay, I guess there's a popping sound in the whistle now. Like I said, it's a beta of early access, and they just switched Unreal Engine 5, so there's going to be problems. Let's see if we can move. <laughs> Come on, Betsy. This is always a struggle. It's about all bets you can do to get this moving on level territory. But it's basically all all downhill. It's all downhill or level. Go Betsy, go. <laughs> Let me see, is the whistle... Yeah, it's got definitely like a... There's a pop in the loop for some reason. Something different with Unreal 5, no doubt. I didn't realize my fire got that low. That's why we're struggling. Alright, let me build up some steam and we'll get back at it. Yeah, we're getting back up to full steam here. I hear a firebox sound. Has that always been there, or is that new? I kind of glanced over the uh, change notes. I didn't look at everything. All right, full speed ahead. Inside of the bell, like it's missing a texture, maybe. Or were they painted red? Some of you probably know the prototypes pretty well. Maybe it's meant to be painted red. It seems like the cars in the, the Locos, they really hunt around a lot more. But I've just played this a little bit and everything. I mean, other than a few little glitches here and there, it's it was pretty much business as usual, so that's cool. Smoke's different color depending on how the light's hitting it. Let me know what you think. I think the lighting looks a lot better with the new Unreal 5. Uh, I forgot to throw that switch, but it should throw itself. Theory. See what I mean? It's just about all Betsy can do to get this thing started around the curve. <laughs> go, Betsy, go. It's a lot of weight. About 800 bucks, too. I think these are 80 a pop. It's 10 cars. Yep, the auto throw did work. So you can tell we start the downgrade about here, and I usually cut the throttle and then just kind of let it coast. And I'm pretty sure the switches should be lined because I've been going to the depot. So hopefully we're all good to go. Oh, no, 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 wait. I forgot. I had it lined up to grab the Shea, but I probably don't want to do that yet. So we'll have to stop down at the sawmill. Right here about where these other trees start. You start heading down grade. Yeah, it's coming on nighttime, so that's cool. Uh, I forgot Betsy doesn't have a headlight, though. But we'll check out the nighttime. I think the days by default are 30 minutes. You can see the sun's going down. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a nice F12 here. Got trees. Ah, tree. You're ruining my sh my shot. I'll get one in. There we go. Beautiful. All right, I need to come off the regulator. And fingers crossed. We don't derail. You need to go save your. 
There's a new save system too. It saves a screenshot. It's kind of handy. And you can actually give it a name though. And before I could just let this coast and it was fine. So we'll see if that's still the case. Nighttime. Cool. Right, we're down on the level, so let's me go, Betsy. Go. Let's leave it about forty. So we will have to stop up here. Now we got the glow of the firebox. Sometimes. Here it is. This is probably going to be really dark on YouTube because YouTube always makes stuff look a lot darker. Right, we need some more juice here. So far, I haven't noticed any of the other sounds having a, a pop in them. But whistle definitely does. Start backing off the regulator. Let's go ahead and get some break up. And I think L for lantern. Yeah, there we go. Got a little lantern for nighttime. Right. <laughs> the lighting is about right for a lantern, too. It's not overly done. All right, so that one is lined up. And then I've got the Shea right here in the way. I think all I need is throw the switch. And this one takes us over to the depot. We've got the Shea ready to go to hook on and take the next load down to the smelter. So now we should be good. Yeah, that lantern looks great. Did we stop? Looks like we stopped. All right, cool. Well, it's just going to be more of the same. Uh, let me keep heading towards the depot. And we should have a sunrise eventually. If not, we'll manually make it a sunrise. And I'll uh, see you over at the depot. Thought while we're here and it's nighttime, let's see what the, uh, the headlight looks like on the Shea. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty bright, actually. Not bad. Yeah, that'll look pretty cool riding at night. And then some of the locos have, like, uh, glass lights and stuff. I don't think this has anything other than the headlight. Betsy. I left Betsy on full throttle. <laughs> All right, I'll see you over at the depot. Oh, Betsy, you can do it. I believe in you. Well, we're almost to the depot. Uh, it hasn't been going super fast. This is wide open. But it's a little faster than the Shea would be. So let's go ahead and just close down the regulator. 
We are lined up to go to the depot, so that's good. Pretty sure I took the brakes off. Of the cars. I should probably check that once I get stopped. I did have the brakes set at some point when I was loading cordwood. It's going to be pretty funny if that's why it's pulling so hard. It wouldn't be the first time I've left the brakes on. But it is also a lot of weight. Alright, let's leave this on, say, 40%. We'll unload as it goes by. I forgot I reset the keys just in case there were any changes. I need to set that back to E. It was towards the back of the train where I was unloading and I had the brakes set. So far so good. Line for him. Yeah, probably ought to wait just a bit. It's kind of acting like there's brakes on. Unless the rolling resistance in the new update is just really high. Yeah, there's no brakes on. Weird. That's 40% throttle on Bessie. Double check in every car here. Break is off, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Let's we'll chalk it up to the new beta. Maybe they nerf Betsy again. I'll have to go read the patch notes. That's forty percent throttle, mostly empty terrain, straight track level. And it's basically not even accelerating. Fun. We go to options, controls. Set this to E. That's just easier for me when you're unloading stuff. All right. Well, we made some more money. Let's go to options, gameplay. And I heard that there's a comma there, but okay. Let's set it to uh, 600. There we go. Starting to get some sunrise. Betsy creeps around the track there. Pretty good. So we had thunderstorm. Let's just do it like a light rain. And I tried the blizzard. The blizzard was pretty cool, but it looks silly because no snow like accumulates. At least not yet. There we go. And we got some ambient sounds with the rain and some thunder. Clouded up quite a bit too. So that'll be it for this video. I should be able to get this out Friday, uh, and then I'm out of town, so I'm not gonna have a chance to record. So there probably will be no Monday, maybe even no Wednesday video. We'll just have to see. Life's been pretty busy. I haven't had a whole lot of time to game or record or edit. But I'll try to get something out. Y'all have a great weekend if you're watching this on Friday. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.